Yeah, you know, I go by the name of Jay Lewis. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? To a called Scotlandville. Nah, bro, we in here with my mixtapes. My little brother, Jay Lewis, this is Mr. Kane right here. Man, bad rooms, but we sound. But we need that. This is how we do it if we get that work in here. Shit, I got a lot of favorite movies. One of them is probably, well, I got a couple of them, no. I got like Painful, Minutes to Society, fucking, uh, The Little Rascals. Yeah, that bitch go hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they was thugging. Yeah, you know, niggas be talking about they thugging, The Little Rascals, they was doing some shit, yeah. My real name, it was hard to pronounce, so I had to think about some shit that, you know what I'm saying, that they, they would catch on fast and everybody know. So I started calling myself J, but instead of having just one fucking letter, just one J, I just made it J A Y. But my last name Lewis for real though. My uncle, he in this group called Cameo. You know what I'm saying? It's an old group that tastes like candy. Yeah, that's my uncle. So I used to watch him a lot. You know, uh, he used to play the guitar and shit for him and shit. So uh, I, I just used to see him and I just fell in love with music ever since. I started DJing and shit when I was in middle school, and then. I just seen an open lane for me, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the rapper shit. So I just went for it and it, it turned out good for me. Why you be looking so down? Life ain't been treating me right. I ain't been sleeping at night. Demons that I cannot fight. I just come with shit. That nigga was bad. That nigga was like, I was about eight. He was about 13. He was going to the clubs and everything. Pulling up, drop top, like five girls on the back of it. So yeah, I used to look up to him back then. He trying to make everybody come to him. He don't want to like, you know, he want everybody to fuck with his music. He don't want to change for nobody. So that's, that's one thing I, I can say about it. When I was DJing, like you only get so much, you know what I'm saying? Like as a DJ, people don't really respect you and take you serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause they just feel like they could, you're not like a regular person. They feel like they could handle you any type of way, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. So I was only getting paid like, $250 to DJ, you know what I'm saying? At that time, it seemed like a lot, but I had, I needed a, something better, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had no car, nowhere to stay, like, no shit like that, so I had to figure out what, what was another source of income. So I, I started taking the, the rapping shit serious, you know, and I started gaining popularity from the shit, but it wasn't like no money. So I had to sit there and I had to figure out all right, well, how the fuck I'm gonna make money off of this shit. So I had to get serious, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't play, it was, play time was over with, so. I had to man up and try to, you know what I'm saying, turn turn all the famous shit into money. So when I started rapping, it um it was made way more money for me. Like some shit that I ain't never seen. It went from 250 to doing fucking contracts for shows and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I just started seeing like real money. So shit, I just got serious about it and I you know, I've just been rolling ever since. I got big homies and OGs, you know what I'm saying? They really fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? They don't like seeing a nigga down. So you know, and from the from the shit a nigga been through, you know? So that's where a lot of my inspiration come from. I ain't tryna talk, I ain't really even in the mood. Need to take a ride, cause I'm feeling hot, need to cool. I got no business trying trying to figure out what I do. I'm just doing me, and you really need to do you. Yeah. I'll see that like, it's a, it's a bunch of crabs in the bucket, you know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of monkey see monkey do ass shit. There's no support here. There's no support until you make it. Like, if I was to take a picture and link up with Gucci Man, oh, the whole city would be, you know what I'm saying, supportive of that. Because they see he's a bigger, a bigger dude, you know what I'm saying? And they'd be like, oh, well, he made it, now nah, let's support him. But they, they bandwagon, they bandwagon ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I, I don't feel like I get support, uh, enough support from the city. If I'm at the top, why not bring these little niggas that, you know what I'm saying, with me and we could make money together. I could be making money with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be washed up one day. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, my shit won't be last. My shit, my, my music might last forever, but I'm only getting older. I'm not getting younger. You know what I'm saying? So why not create another generation and, and open up a lane for these dudes so these dudes get, could eat and the culture could remain the same? You know what I'm saying? They don't look at it like that. They just selfish with the shit. They get in the door and they close that bitch behind them. You know what I'm saying? Time that I took a loss that sticks out to me. Hell yeah, I can tell you that shit. I had went on tour with um, Kevin Gates, you hear me? The thing was, since I wasn't getting paid for it, I had to come out my own pocket, you know what I'm saying? Like from by me DJing and doing all my shows and shit, I had a, um, 
I had a lot of money saved up. Like a month and a half, I spent like seventy thousand dollars on the road. You know what I'm saying? Coming out of my own pocket for food, fucking tires and shit. I paid forty-seven thousand dollars for a Jeep Wrangler, so I took a big ass loss from the fucking tour. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, a lot of people ain't keep their word about certain shit. You know what I'm saying? So I took an L on that shit and lost a lot of money. I don't regret it, you know what I'm saying, because that's just a learning experience, but you know, that was a big ass L for me, you know? So I had to, it, it just took me a long time to just overcome that shit and just get back on my feet from, you know what I'm saying, that big ass loss, because I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't make no, no money, you know what I'm saying, the whole time I was on the road. So that was just a big ass loss for me, you know what I'm saying, that I'm still trying to shake back from, you know? Louisiana, dog, it, it, it's what you see. Like, you know what I'm saying, the violence there, the fucking everything there, the killing there, the selfishness there, you know what I'm saying? Everything that you see, that's what it is, you know? It's no sugarcoating. Like, if you don't get off fast enough, you're gonna kill somebody or you're gonna get killed.